be in here somewhere. Maybe if I move some things around. Castis doing running around here. I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neoclis's rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neoclis has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neoclis' device, and we'll fix the flowers. This isn't Neoclis' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neocles needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. The project Neoclis is working on is important for the future of Atlantis. Hand over the rock. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you. This will propel Atlantis' sustainability forward by centuries. All those cynics like Melita will see the progress eventually. Just be careful. 
It sounds like your theory could still use some work. This is the right course of action for all of Atlantis, Nicastis. Trust me. Please, do me the honor of returning the stone to the device. Gardens will be healed in no time. no choice but to face both immediate and future consequences for lifetimes. That takes responsibility. I hear you, Alethea. You may think I'm crazy, but at least I'm accountable. Στην κατηραμένη αγρικία, η βέβαιο σοφικού φύλλα και σε σοντέ. Tell me what that was all about? 
No. I'll be fine. The Castis! You can make this all go away! My name is Lyra, and you're... you! You've helped so many people. You're amazing and wonderful and powerful and... And you're here! Thank you. That's nice of you. You deserve all the praise and more. They called you a murderer. You don't seem the type, but as the Castis, I have to be sure. They're sure I'm responsible for what happened to that poor family. They said it's like the other murders, but I couldn't live with myself, I swear. Please, please clear my name. Where were you when the family was murdered? If it happened last night like they said, I was here trying to sleep. Although, lately it's been restless, filled with strange dreams. It's always the same one, over and over. Were you alone? Well, yes. I've been so tired lately, I decided to stay in. You said something about other murders. This was the... third time. I just don't understand why they'd blame me. I, I don't have the stomach to do that. I'll find out what really happened. Just point me in the direction of the attack. Just down the road. Not too far from here. If I were you, I'd hide until I return. Oh, good idea. Thank you. You truly are a great de Castis. Someone around here saw what happened last night. His footprints struck the blood out of the house. Whoever murdered them left this way. This bloodied cloth doesn't match the mother or daughter's robes. It must have come off the murderer. These aren't stab wounds. They're claw marks. Is this about what happened last night? How do you know? It's all everyone's talking about. And if the Tijastis is here, you must be looking into it. If you saw or heard anything, I need to know. I saw it from the distance. Heard it too. Its howl will never leave my mind. You saw a wolf? Beast is more like it. If you see it, run! I'll be careful. The great Ligastis. What did I do to deserve a visit? I'm looking into the attack that happened nearby last night. Ah, of course. I thought that was meant to be handled already. You mean the mob harassing that woman? Uh, I've said enough. I understand your hesitation. 
But I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I'll make sure whoever or whatever did this is punished. You've already met the guilty one. Lyra? You agree with the mob? Of course I do. I'm the one who told them it was her. I saw her last night, bloody and in a frenzy. It was dark. How do you know it was her? I know what I saw. I should return to Lyra and let her know what I found. Well, did you find out what happened? The evidence I found was conflicting. Tell me. Two people saw what happened. One woman heard a wolf howling. But a man said he saw you, covered in blood and leaving the family's house. He's lying! Or mistaken. It was dark, so it could have been anyone. There's more. The killing blows weren't made by a weapon. Then by what? It almost looked like claw marks. And then there was this piece of cloth. It didn't match the clothes of anyone there. That's... that's mine! How did it get there? Someone wants me to look like I was responsible. Tell me the truth, Dicastis. Whether it was a wolf or something else, it's clear it wasn't you. Of course it wasn't, but why would someone make it seem like I'm the murderer? We'll figure that out together. After I kill the beast. You're going to kill it? What other choice is there? Do you want another mob after you? No, of course not. I've just always hated the killing of animals. If I don't kill it now, it will kill someone later. I have a friend who can keep me safe while you end this. I need to find the beast and kill it before it grows bloodthirsty again. It was me! What am I? I've seen this before. A minotaur, a cyclops, a horon. All were humans possessed by powerful issue devices. The only way I could stop them was by killing them. But you're able to change back. Somehow you're different. I don't remember coming here. Or why? I had to guess. That side of you knew it was caught. Maybe it thought coming out here was the only choice it had. That side of me. I've had dreams lately of being in the bright room, tied down, pain throughout my body. But now, I think that all really happened. I did kill them then. I don't remember it, but it was me, wasn't it? If you knew you would harm people again, and you could never control yourself, never stop, would you? Would I what? Jump? I wouldn't. There are always answers. 
How could that be? It feels so... permanent. It's only one part of you. It's not all of you. I know what it's like to be part human and part something else. Trust me, you can live with his burden. I'm not as strong as you are! Look at yourself. Yes, you are. You're stronger than you think. Plus, I've been thrown off a cliff before. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, but you're still here. I am. And you are too. You're right. Now that I know what's inside of me, I can do something about it. And I know who can help. Thank you. Technology can and will change whoever isn't strong enough to command it. That explains your oh, own aggression, right Leila. I'm still me. I'm not as weak as you think I am.
Ah, you've arrived! I'm honored that the Castis would accept my humble request. Ah. Your Atlas, I take it. In the flesh. I thank you for coming to see me. I'm sure you're very busy. The burden my father gave you is not a light one. Your messenger told me it was urgent. Gravely urgent, indeed. Well, here I am. It's my brothers, the Archons. They have issues with the human populations under their control. Tensions between Isu and humans are mounting. Without order, the problems will grow severe. I'll try and use my position to help them where I can. Find Hadiros, Amphiris, and Azeas. Through your shining example, I hope they learn the valuable lessons in discipline they so desperately need. And if I help them, you're hoping it'll maintain the peace between Isu and humans. That's the plan. Poseidon should have known they weren't ready for the responsibility an Archon bears. But that's his failing. Tell me about Gaviros. You'll find him near the arena, hard at work planning his next exhilarating spectacle, I'm sure. What should I know about Amphiris? He's probably off terrorizing people near the fortified Doma of Ochtonos. Make sure you don't sneak up on him. He's quite jumpy. What about Azais? Who is he? You'll find dear Azais wherever there is humanitarian work to be done. I heard there were some issues near the Doma of Amphiris. We have Archons where I'm from. Do they fulfill the same duties? They are charged with overseeing and ruling the humans of Atlantis. Ensuring all live comfortably and peacefully, a job at which I fear they're failing. There always seems to be unrest between the two races. The Underworld and Elysium were no different. Time passes and tensions keep building. I expected my father to handle it. But Atlantis grows steadily worse, and no one wants to see what could happen if precautions are not taken. I'll find the Archons, and make sure their problems are taken care of.
arena seems like a strange place to find an icon. Stars, I was beginning to lose all hope. Atlas said you needed help. You don't understand the responsibility on my shoulders. It's my job to concoct entertainment for the masses. But I fear the crowd have grown bored of my grand spectacles. I've seen some good plays. And some bad ones. We need more than a simple play. If the audience leave my shows bored and restless, who knows what they'll start plotting? You think they'll become violent? My purpose is to keep them preoccupied so they can't be violent. Trying to distract people from their problems will only work for so long. I misspoke. I've seen what these humans are capable of, given the chance. I'm not distracting them, merely keeping them happy. So give the people what they want. What they want, yes. Yes, I can hear the cheers now! The legendary Dicastis Cassandra takes on Atlantis' finest warriors. You must take part in my next event! Sounds like a Pangration. I can definitely help with that. Not exactly. But I was inspired by your efforts in Elise. I know you'll do an exemplary job entertaining the crowds as you did then. If we pull this off, we'll be the talk of the city. It's worth a try. Welcome all to yet another miraculous show here in our beloved city. Tonight we have a very special guest. Davika Stis of Atlantis is here to entertain you. Your third talent. Might Cassis overcome the power of the Atlantean God? Let's find out! Alright, Cassandra. Not a Pangratin. Our valiant hero's next challenge fast approaches. A champion bested by none in the city. No mercy, no guilt. Will this be too much for even the Dicassis to overcome? Huh! 
Almighty Vicastis is victorious and the crowd have spoken. But will she show mercy or will she spill the blood we want? If you don't appease the crowd, I fear what Gadiros will do. It was an honor to fight you, Vicastis. You don't deserve to die just for losing. Our merciful Vicastis has passed judgment. But do not dismay! Our champion lives to fight another day for you, the audience. And here we are, the end of today's event. Next to face our Dicastis' judgment, the very scum that taints our city. By the gods, what is this? For the good of Atlantis, today bear witness to the guilty and condemned given one final chance at redemption. They will be honored to die at the hands of our guest. Enough! I am not doing this. Mm. Uh, fear not, friends. We will make sure justice is delivered. Well, that was an unmitigated disaster. You said fight, so I fought. The problem is that I didn't say fight. I said be as entertaining as possible. This won't help the relations between your people. The humans will see what's going on eventually. The games have failed. The humans are restless and it's only a matter of time before they make their own entertainment. Their hunger for violence is insatiable. You just need to keep surprising them. Think like a human, not an issue. That's what I tried to do. But you showed the criminals mercy, and the crowd reacted as I expected. Killing people who can't defend themselves isn't entertainment, it's slaughter. Their sacrifice helps us keep the peace and maintain order. Or it would have if you played along. What are you saying, Radiros? That my grand experiment has failed. There's nothing left to be done but start again and try for better results. The arena must be cleared! This is madness.
That's one Archon held. I hope they're not all just in time. This is it. Must be Amphiris. Why so many guards? Let her pass. Amphiris, if this is how you treat humans. I can see why you need so many guards. These aren't humans. They are animals. An animal should be in cages. I'm sure everything you do isn't without reason. But if you didn't call them animals, you might get a better reaction. A human did this to me while I slept. When they came to kill me, I survived. But they slaughtered my daughter like an animal. 
Humans don't act with logic or reason. Good or bad, they are driven by a will to survive. A trait we implanted to ensure efficiency. But that will become a kindled flame of insurrection. You led a rebellion yourself in Elysium. So I know you understand. If we don't act, the city will burn and many more lives will be lost. I don't see an army marching on Poseidon. This one said they plan to launch an attack. Someone needs to destroy the resistance before that happens. That's not a small request. Despite what you think, all the humans aren't a threat. It is the only path I see. But you are the Dicastis. Only you can choose the correct course of action. Killing people will just make the fire spread faster. Now, if we destroy their supplies and their weapons, they can't oppose the issue. I admire your optimism. But I fear it will not be enough. However, it's your decision to make. Just leave it to me. I'll send a message they won't forget. Very well. You'll find the traitorous humans at an abandoned farmstead. Return to me when the situation is resolved. to stay hidden. I can't wait to secure my first issue. Are you sure they're as easy to kill as she says? You kidding? I heard she's already killed two of them. I don't know. Think we'd have heard something about that.
hard to form a resistance if they have no supplies. 